Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to your power message for Friday. Now, as you know, I've been time jumping because I am on holiday and I can't find the date for today's calendar. I can't find it. I've obviously misplaced it somewhere. So I'm seeing there as a big sign from the universe that when we misplace things and we start worrying about things just to give it to heaven and then we're guided and given answers and shown what to do. So the angels are guiding me today to bring in the Divine Feminine 101 and the Divine Feminine the Silence deck. And we're going to shuffle and see what could possibly be on your mind today, what you may be dealing with and what the angels want you to know about it. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around this day? What's the energy around this day? Another fabulous Friday. Remember, it's all in our perception. What's the energy, please, angels, around this day? What do we need to know? What's been healed? Thank you, thank you. So this is about how we give it to heaven and how we heal and how we understand that we are loved and safe. So look at this, just let me in. Just let me in. Now, first of all, what I'm seeing with this is, this is what we go through when we're struggling. We want the masculines to just let us in. We want to be heard and understood. We want to help them. And that's in us because we are empresses of light and we are natural healers, light workers, star seeds, earth angels. We have this natural need to help and heal. So we know as divine feminines that we can help the masculine to understand this journey, to make sense of it. We can help them to find solutions and give them answers. But remember, the masculines have to do it themselves. They have to be ready and open to be able to let you in. So never take it personally if you feel shut out. You may be thinking, just let me in. Why are you shutting me out? And he isn't meaning to. He's just processing his feelings and his emotions and his life and his situation in his own way. So this is when the angels come to you and say, just let me in. Just let me in. So this is so powerful because you may be thinking, Divine Masculine, let me in. But your angels are saying, just let me in. Let me in and I will give you faith and truth and hope and understanding. And you'll know you're not alone. So the message is, whenever we feel shut out by our twin, or we feel that things aren't going our way, or we start worrying about things, that's the time when we let in heavenly assistance. That's the time when we realize we are not alone because we start to let in source. We start to let in help. We start to see that there's something bigger than us that's guiding us. And we start to trust in heaven and the universe to have our back. So this is really a message from the angels today saying, just let me in. Let me help you. All the things that you're saying to your twin, let me help you, let me be there for you, is what the angels are saying to you. So it's really powerful because this is when the angels give you the help and support that you need. And they assist you with your journey. Just like the masculine sometimes need assistance with their journey. Your moods give me a headache. So you may be going through a head pressure today, ascension. Maybe you've got a headache. And as I'm saying it, this card just jumped off the top there. I'm taking that one. They just give me like a bit of nausea and dizziness. So if you're experiencing that today, it's due to ascension. But it's also because you're realizing more and more what your masculine is going through. So their moods, up and down, highs and lows, wanting you one minute, blocking you the next. And when I say blocking you, I don't mean actually blocking you on social media I mean shutting you out you know shutting you out just let me in you know your their moods may be oh it's giving you a head rush and you're thinking make your mind up already what do you really want your moods are giving me a headache maybe you know this is how he is one time one time he's happy one time he's sad and you're thinking what's the matter and the masculines are always in that energy because they are aligning it's really interesting because when the masculines are opening up to you and loving you and wanting you and really being open and honest with you, that's when they're operating in their feminine self. 
when they are shutting you out and being distant and cool and you know not very nice to you they're operating in masculine energy and most of the time when they're in that energy that's the time they want you the most but it's their own fear and struggle that can hold them back so the masculines will be up and down and you know when i'm channeling the daily like divine masculine messages it's like a roller coaster ride because one minute they're up the next minute they're down and they're upside down they're going all around and you're being reminded to just breathe through it because both of you are strapped in for the ride both of you are protected by angels and guides and you know you're being watched over so this is also about letting go of the struggle so release the tension today because that's what's giving you a headache the tension where you may be trying to work out why your masculine is going through these moods and just understand it's a natural part of his journey as he finds himself as he aligns with the masculine and feminine aspects of himself we are meant to be i know it in my soul so you're being reminded of that you know this is something you know deep within you regardless of his moods regardless of how he's behaving in the physical world if he seems to be shutting you out you know your truth this is why you can't really move on because how can we move on from our own self how can we move on from our soul we can't but we can move on from the struggle and the things that hold us down hold us back and create fear and anxiety and pressure and tension so i'm feeling tension headaches today caused by the up and down energy and it's just about going with the flow not taking it personally and knowing that you're meant to be regardless of what they're doing you know whenever they shut the door on you god's opening a window so remember that it's never the end it's just the beginning and that's so interesting you know especially to me when i was going through my journey you know and i was getting blocked all the time and ignored and you know and i thought it's over every time i realized it was over you know the angel said it isn't it's just beginning and then i was shown that too so we come to realizations it's never over it's just beginning i'm sorry i pressured you so again there's this energy about pressure tension so if you're thinking your masculine's moods are giving you a headache it's actually the pressure of everything that's creating that tension and we learn to release the pressure we learn to let go of control so the feminine here is realizing you know this is your higher self saying i'm sorry i pressured you because we all pressure our twin in some way shape or form on this journey and we all have to let go of that pressure and learn to release it i am doing my best to give you the time you need so we do do our best but it can be hard because we know we belong together and sometimes we feel like we're wasting time and we can give them the support the answers and you know everything they need to wake up and see but they have to wake up and see in their own time you know when we try and wake our twin up and you know make him see and share information sometimes it can be like banging your head on a brick wall you don't get anywhere and you just give yourself a headache because it's not going in and that's because the masculines have to be ready they gather all the information like the squirrel but then they have to be ready to digest it so this is about you understanding that everything right now on your journey is actually running to plan where are you so maybe you're thinking where are you come on haven't you waited long enough where are you this is the month of results maybe you see everyone else coming back into contact and you're thinking where are you what are you doing or maybe you feel like the connection has dimmed a little bit and you're thinking i'm not dreaming about him anymore i don't know where he is anymore i'm not feeling his energy and that's because you are in the energy of surrender it's okay does she know so this could be about a karmic partner maybe you're thinking does she know about me does she know that there's somebody on your mind does she know that you are you know back and forth with me does she know and she could be anyone doesn't necessarily mean a karmic partner it could be a mother it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be a boss a colleague does she or he know about us so this is you wanting things to come out into the open so really that statement there is the need to be heard the need to be seen the need to have this out into the open 
and tell me the truth, the need to have the truth. They're giving me fear and there's fear around that. Tell me the truth. And the angels are saying to you, you know your truth. You don't need to hear it. Okay, it's nice to hear it from our twin that they love us and want us and intend to give everything to us. But we don't need that because it's already felt. We already know it in our heart and soul. We are meant to be. I know it in my soul. So the angels are asking you to trust in that today and to let go of the pressure. Because sometimes we pressure for the truth. Where are you? What are you doing? When we're reaching out to our twin, where are you? And he's just been busy with work or he's been dealing with something in his head. He's needed space. And you're saying, I'm doing my best to give you the space you need. You know, I'm doing my best to do that. Wherever that card is, where's that card gone? Okay. Yeah, I'm doing my best to give you the time you need. So in the silence, remember you were learning to let go. In the silence, you were learning what your own truth is because you understand that. You know, you understand that they love you. You know, sometimes we've got all the information right in front of us, but we're struggling to put it all together. And that's why we need time. Okay, because the truth is that you were meant to be. You know this in your soul. So you don't need to pressure your twin to tell you that, to speak to you, because you already know that. Just let me in. All you have to do is close your eyes. And they write by your side. You feel them. You connect with them. And you know the truth. So if you're getting a headache, ask yourself why. It's because of the pressure that you may be creating yourself. Where are you? He's right by your side. He's right with you. Does she know? Of course she knows. She's not silly. Okay. So this is also about everyone's aware. Sometimes we don't realize how much people understand and see you know, outside of the connection, because of course the karmic partner knows, because they recognize that there's something going on in their head, there's something going on in your twin flame's head, and their mind is occupied and elsewhere, sometimes your twin is away with the fairies, thinking about you, visualizing your life together and how things will be, and that karmic partner is talking to them, and your masculine isn't listening, your masculine isn't there in his mind he may be there physically but he's not there in his mind so you already know all of this so let go of any fear you're meant to be you know it in your soul it's going to happen in divine timing so release the pressure and realize if there's any headaches today you may think it's to do with your twin's mood but it could also to be to do with the pressure you're putting on yourself so let go of that pressure and feel free i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon